Hello, I'm Howard Stableford, Infinity Park Stadium announcer, and welcome to the first ever edition of In The Rook, a pre-match interview that we'll do before every home game, sponsored by Rugby Athletic and BLK. And I'm delighted that my first ever guest is the Glendale Raptors assistant coach, Kieran Browner, who is better known in these parts as Ted. Welcome, Ted. Oh, good morning, Howard. Now, early doors, but the season has started. Glendale Raptors played last week in a, in a friendly, if there is ever such a thing as a friendly rugby game, in Sacramento against Life West. How did you get on? Uh, we actually won. We came away with a 50 to 19 victory over a very good Life West team. Uh, so we, and we also got to see some of our new players and uh, the new shape and the new pattern that's been introduced. So it was altogether a very good weekend. So what did you learn? New shape, new pattern, new players? What were your observations? Uh, we need to uh, work on our fitness quite considerably, but it was a pre-season game, so that's always going to be the norm. Um, we definitely played our new shape and our new pattern in periods of the game, uh, but we lost it for other periods and we need to you know, be able to play it for longer periods. We need to recognize when we've fallen out of that and how to get back into it. Um, and we got to see some new combinations of new players, which was, which was vital for us. Let's talk a little bit about the players then. Exciting times, new players coming in, and of course, all stalwarts returning here to, to Infinity Park. Which are the key players to watch out for? So the new players that we've had join us this season, um, probably the main names would be uh, the likes of Will McGee, who's a fly half, um, Sean Davies, who is a scrum half, and John Quill, who uh, is a back row player. Um, all three players um, are very, very good um, leaders on the field, and they're all incidentally with the uh, US men's national team um, at the moment. Um, uh, playing in the international competition. So lots of international experience and strength in depth. That's going to be key, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Uh, because, for example, this weekend against BYU, those international players will be missing. Um, and including Ben Tarr, who's also with the US national team, who used to play for Glendale and is back with us again now. Um, and then we have the stalwarts that the fans will be used to. Zach Fenoglio, Peter Dahl, Casey Rock in the second row, Chad London in the back line. Um, so very exciting. Excellent. So it's BYU Cougars here uh, at Infinity Park this Saturday. What, do you, what will you be looking for in that game? So BYU, they're a young team, so they'll be very fit, very quick. So we're expecting an up-tempo game. So once again, we want to look at you know our increased fitness levels and make sure we're playing the game at the tempo we would like. And then it'll be a case of, once again, um, working with our new pattern and implementing the pattern and playing within that shape. Um, and also, obviously, it's, we're going to fall out of it during the game and it's recognizing that and getting back into our shape as fast as we can. Now, traditionally, BYU bring a lot of talent and, and young players who've played since they were tiny, right? And it's sort of in their DNA. How much more difficult is it to play against those types of players? So the, the strong Polynesian influence that the university has means we get a lot of players who, uh, like you say, because they've been playing so long, um, the game is second nature to them. It's very intuitive. Um, and as a result of that, they make decisions very well and they see space and gaps earlier. So you have to make sure your defense is very, very quick and you're applying a lot of pressure because if we leave any gaps, they will exploit them. And from your point of view, what's most important this weekend? A win or a further development of the team? Uh, we would definitely like a win, and that's important to get momentum. Um, but the development of the team is probably the most important area. We need to make sure that we see we're progressing. We need to check the new combinations and try those out with the players. Um, but obviously, if we could have both, we'd be very happy. Excellent. Well, just a reminder, the Glendale Raptors will be taking on the BYU Cougars here at Infinity Park on Saturday, and you can get your tickets from glendaleraptors.com. Uh, that's it for this particular edition of In The Ruck. Thank you very much, Ted Browner. And don't forget, you must follow the Raptors on facebook.com. I'll see you at the game.